following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Clinton's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 17, The Piano Bachelor. I've just finished my script for Chapter 4 of Humans Who Sent I Go Ranger. I was just about to take a walk through Store Park. You're just in time to come with me. Come on. You know, it's a good time to be out here at Stroller Park because of this breeze blowing on you. I just love it. Excuse me, are you Quentin Cole? Oh my god! David Seville? Here at Animation Land? Wow! I absolutely love your songs as well as the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise. Yeah, funny thing. I met the chipmunks by a freak accident. Really? Yes. You see, back then, I was trying to write a decent song, but couldn't succeed. The most recent song at the time, The Bird on My Head, was a success, but didn't achieve much popularity. Well, I liked that song. Wow, didn't think anybody knew about it. Anyway, on my way home, I picked up a muffin basket. When I got home, I heard some banging noises in my cabinet. To my surprise, Three chipmunks had invaded my house and knocked me unconscious. Oh, wow! When I came to, I heard squeaky, high-pitched voices. It turns out the chipmunks could not only speak English, but could sing as well. They told me their names were Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Of course I know that part. Anyway, I soon got the idea for a Christmas song while I was in bed that night and stayed up all night writing it. Oh my god, I bet you were tired that night. Trust me, I was. Anyway, the next morning, I recorded the song with the chipmunks singing it. The song was so successful that the chipmunks have recorded more songs to this day. And I guess that's how they became a franchise. Yep. You know, I'm really amazed at how you were able to recreate the chipmunks' recording of the 12 Days of Christmas. You seem to have followed the recording as closely as you could, with some changes, of course. Hey, I've had the idea that past year. See, the idea at first was to take the actual chipmunks' recording, remove the vocals, and change the pitch on some parts. But the only vocal part I couldn't remove was in verse 11, where you said, NOW CUT THAT OUT! <laughs> yeah, the chipmunks can be annoying at times, especially Alvin. Usually he drives me up to the point where I have to scream at him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when removing the vocals didn't work, I decided to just recreate the whole thing. The first thing I did was record the instruments. There ended up being a lot of instrument tracks. Also, I couldn't play the instruments at the regular speed, so I just recorded each track slowly. Then, when all the tracks were in, I sped up the instruments to make them match the speed of the source. Wow, I guess you were having trouble playing the instruments at normal speed. Trust me, I was. Anyway, after completing the instrumental parts, I recorded the vocals. I recorded each chipmunk voice at half the speed of the song, then played it back at normal speed to get the squeaky, high-pitched voices of the chipmunks. Wow, the exact same method I used for some of my early songs. Anyway, when the song was finished, I created a video out of it, using drawings I made on my laptop. Wow, I think I remember seeing that video. Very talented. Thank you. I plan on releasing the song to the public next year, but I'm not sure. You know, since you were so talented to recreate one of the Chipmunks recordings, why don't you join me on stage for my concert tonight? Really? Wow, what an honor. I accept. Okay, be ready at 6 o'clock tonight. 6 o'clock. Got it. Believe me, I'm completely excited! Anyway, I'll be looking forward to seeing you at the theater tonight! 
Well, how about that? David Seville himself invited me to join him on stage for his concert tonight. Well, I have about an hour to get ready, so I think I'm gonna go now. Hope you enjoyed meeting David Seville as well. Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network. <laughs>